I know that uh, you mentioned your husband, Jamie. Uh, Jamie was a two-time Olympian as well. Uh, in yeah. The, in the yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, you know, a little bit of your story with him. I know that um, he had gotten injured and, you know, mm -hmm. one of his major, uh, uh, he had suffered some, some partial paralysis, was it? And yeah. I know that. Yeah. Um, Jamie. Uh, yeah, Jamie uh, Nieto, um, my boyfriend at the time, we met in 2012, and he's a U.S. high jumper. Um, in 2016, he was in a jumping accident, and it, it left him completely paralyzed from the chest Please. down. Yeah, chest down. Um, they said that he would barely be able to feed himself, is what they told um, us, and, um, you know, but at that point uh with the mindset that we have and achieving things that people tell us are extremely hard to do i looked at the situation like it was definitely the hardest challenge that i ever had to face mm -hmm. and but i knew just with the faith that i have that he was going to get back up and he was going to walk, run, or do whatever it is that he wanted to do. And at that time, it's, you know, when I retired 2016 um, from track and field to be there to help him get back on his feet. Yeah, that's that Olympian mindset again, you know, like, oh, anything's possible. I saw a pretty cool interview with Jamie, and he was, uh, you know, he said that you just were like, oh, yeah, well, you'll walk again. Like, we're not, you know, doctors are saying this stuff. We don't buy it. And that one of his main goals, once again, Olympians setting goals and saying, this is what I'm going to do. And yeah. one of his goals was to walk on your wedding day, right? Yeah. yeah. So tell yeah. me about that. Yes. No, um, it was, it's just pretty crazy because when everything happened in 2016, um, you know, we both had goals. And I was training for my third Olympic Games was in Rio. And um, there's no way I could have left his side you know, to be there, because I'd be thinking about him the whole time, and, um, you know, it was definitely a, it was definitely, I would say, it's a tough process, but as Olympians and as the athletes that we are, when things are tough, you just got to do it tough, you know, so, so yeah, it was wow. really tough, but, you know, our faith that we had, knowing that we just had to do what we had to do to get through it and endure the cycle that we had to be in. And, um, you know, we had planned to get married and we had those kind of talks, you know, before all of this happened. And I just remember when he was in the hospital, uh, he was very, uh, you could see that he was scared. He was worried about and what he'd be able to do and I didn't want him to worry about that so I said don't worry about that you know um we're we're we're, we're gonna be fine I just want you to focus on us getting better you know I didn't want him to be afraid about that and you know when we got home um you know we're you know still doing what we have to do and <laughs> trying to you know just just do everything we could and and that that's a whole nother uh, experience in itself but I remember coming to him and and saying you know we can go look at those rings now you know what I mean let's go look at those because we were at home and you know you, you, we're together and we're doing all this stuff and it was just really special to just go out there and let's go look at these rings and you know we're gonna get married and I we didn't a date yet um, but as it went through, you know, like athletes, you know, we know the Olympic is every four years. So I said, you know, we need to put a date, you know, we have to put a date on this, this wedding because I knew that it would also help him prepare and have a goal of, okay, I need to be ready by this time. So, and, and, and like I said, Jamie was in a power wheelchair, you know, he wasn't, he wasn't moving, but. It took every year we just said um, we're going to transition to something every every year. And and really what happened is his power wheelchair broke down on New Year's Day, which I felt was God. <laughs> He's telling us that he doesn't need the chair anymore. Yeah, get so, up. yeah. Right. it's time to walk. Right. So, you know, we transitioned to the walker. And, um, and every change that we made, it was like it, set, it made you feel like you got was a setback because you had to learn this new thing over again, you know? So 
he had the walker and we made that date and it was of uh, July 22nd of 2017. And I remember it was like April and I'm looking at Jamie and I'm seeing him take his steps. Cause I'm like, you know, I, he wasn't really taking any steps. So it was like, okay, yeah, I knew what his goal was and the time was coming, but it got to April. And I remember going into the therapy set, um, center and seeing him and Jamie took 12 steps that day and he like you know he had assistance but his legs were like taking the steps and I couldn't believe it because I was like he's doing it you know like he's, like, he's doing it. it was the first time that I saw him taking these steps which was just like wow he's doing it so as we got closer to you know the date his steps he taking more steps like 12 went to 26 and then he went to like you know 50 something 100 and it was just like you know he's he's getting ready you know so because he asked me like okay i think i'm gonna take about 180 or something like that steps or 108 steps to get from the uh to the from the altar you know what i mean to walk yeah. in it, you know athletes were trying to like measure it out like 40 minutes. To measure it out <laughs> of course so um so um and when he got to that number it was just like all right well maybe put add on another 50 just to make sure you know what i mean yeah. just to make sure but did it and that day when um which was our wedding day and to see jamie just walk out and be on his feet and just 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 standing there super handsome and brush <laughs> the walk and it was it was definitely um it was it was just a, uh, an amazing feeling and it's more than really amazing but that's just the only word i can think to tell you just to see him on his feet and know the dedication and the work it took to for him to get there yeah. in the time in the time and that he did get there you know and i i knew that was just his true determination to do that so it was it was just really awesome